guys it's me marty and welcome back to glam with marty today i have something new for you guys i have a candle haul from a candle brand that is not bath and body works a new candle brand it is called ryan porter and the brand is candier candelier candier i don't know but anyway um they're from ryan porter candles i have ryan porter candles so i'll put a little thing right there in case you can you say what I'm saying? They make all of these different candles. They have tiny batch candles. They are available not only at Macy's. I'll put a link for that down below. They also have their own website, but here's the killer. I just found out today they are also available at BoxyCharm. So if you are a charmer in the drop shop right now, they actually have a couple of them um, on mega sale. This one, $5 in the, uh, the drop shop. Oh my God, this smells so good. So, if you guys want to know what I think about these Ryan Porter candy, candier, candier, candier? Anyway, if you guys want to know what I think about these cute little Ryan Porter candles, you can just keep on watching. Thanks. Alright y'all, so I have a bunch of these Ryan Porter candles that I want to try out today. I'm going to smell them with you. I'm going to talk to you about them a little bit. I'm going to um, let you know where you can find them. Price points. We got to talk about price points before we get into anything else. The reason I wanted to do this tonight, it is now like 1 a.m. And I, I wanted to get this done because I just burned out my Bath and Body Works candle in my bedroom. And I wanted to get some new scents. So I have all of these scents. So I was like, let me just review these real quick so that I can go ahead and start burning these. So first things first, again, I did mention earlier, I'll put links where you guys can pick these up. You can go to Ryan Porter's website and get them. You can go to Macy's and get them. And you can also go to BoxyCharm if you are a charmer like I am. They are um, in there too. I think they were offered in the Boxy Lux box one time or something. And again, you can get them at the drop shop. I specifically saw this one, Champagne Bubble Bath. I saw that one and I saw Don't Make Waves Girl Turn the Tide or something like that. I saw all of those um, in, the, in the drop shop for $5. These retail, though, for $13 a piece. Now, I will tell y'all, that to me is very expensive. I understand it's a small batch, um, a tiny batch candle. I understand it's like, you know, more personal. They're a more indie brand, da da da, da. I understand all of that. But 30 bucks a pop is expensive. It is expensive. And they also have them available at thecandier.com. And um, I like the way they break down the labels. They're hand poured in the USA, but they are single wicks. They don't come with a top and they uh, are $30. So I don't know. I find that a little bit pricey considering that. Let me grab one. Hold on. So considering the fact that at Bath and Body Works, you can get these three wick candles that are this big for $24.50 full price. They're always on sale. I've never paid full price for a Bath and Body Works candle. But these retail for $25 and it's three wicks instead of one. Oh, this one is blue raspberry snow cone you can see i have used it i love candles i burn candles all the time so these are not as expensive as those they're three wicks and they have a top on them i just have to be fair i understand that one is a chain store one is indie whatever whatever they're being carried at macy's they ain't struggling that hard just wanted to make sure i mentioned that because y'all know i'm not with the fakery on here i am definitely always going to tell y'all the truth especially when it comes to money and what i think is worth it and what's not worth it so i don't know that i would be splurging on these on a regular basis because i do like all the little touches they put though so this is the one i want to start burning first i'm going to talk about this one first this is champagne bubble bath and um so what it says on each candle it has this cute little label some of them are glass some of them are like they're see-through glass and then some of them are like this kind of matte glass like this one is i'm going to talk about this one in a second but uh so they come in these two different variations everyone is going to be a little different from the last one um i will give them props on their packing let me show you all the pack so this is how each candle comes they are in a box individually so they come packed to the brim with popcorn to not break the candle and then when you get the candle itself on the inside they put popcorn in the bubble wrap on the top so that you know where you have that little rim like this little rim right here it's going they have the option of breaking that it, it's easy to break when there's nothing in there so i'm glad that they fill it up with popcorn they did all get here safe and sound i did choose a bunch of scents and they did send me a wrong candle but they let me keep it so i was cool with it but we'll get to that one in a second so let's talk about the one that I think is going to be my favorite. This is Champagne Bubble Bath. And at the top it says your best friends be like Champagne Bubble Bath. Baby girl, it doesn't matter whether you are a self-made Wednesday afternoon quarantine queen or if you're an overworked Friday night merbabe in training, 
It's time to pamper yourself. Leave those troubles in the bubbles. XO. Tiny batch candles. Smells like then they have a description of each one here. And I'm just going to go into this much detail on just this one since it's the first one. It says smells like champagne, mimosa, mandarin, coconut, sandalwood, and vanilla. Perfect for pampering yourself. The, the internet famous can candle company. I've never heard of them until I saw these candles actually. This one smells really, really good and fresh. And then at the top, it says, remove this cover before burning, babe. So I I, I get it. It's really, really cute. Um, But still, 30 bucks is just a little steep for me. So this is Champagne Bubble Bath. It's really fresh. It reminds me of, um oh, what's the one everybody likes from Bath & Body Works? Uh, It's called Champagne Something. I had it on there. Not Champagne Wasted. That's Forever Move, which I would never purchase. Champagne Toast. Champagne Toast. That's what it reminds me of. It reminds me a lot of the scent of Champagne Toast from Bath & Body Works. Smells pretty good. It doesn't have a top on it, so I feel like the scent gets out quicker. Um, Just because it doesn't have a top to hold the scent in. I don't know if that works or not. Maybe that's just a mental thing with me. I don't know. I like this one. This is the one that's going to go in the bedroom now. It's a sweet scent. I love the packaging. The pink is really girly. So like I would love to put this in the bathroom, which is where I usually put single wicks. But I'm gonna put this one in my um in the bedroom. So okay, this is the one that they sent me that I cannot use. So I'm gonna give it away. Not to you guys, sorry. I'm gonna give it away to my sister or my mom, whichever one of them wants it. But this is okay, check this out. Your best friends be like florals for spring, groundbreaking. If you have not seen the Devil Wears Prada why are we even talking but i love that name that is so cute it says babe don't force it it's perfectly fine to be fresh as a daisy classic floral scents conjure up a luscious dewy hamptons garden party after a light spring shower hints of sandalwood and clean fresh air round out this timeless spring mood exo so here's the thing with floral scents i don't have a beef with them personally i just cannot have them because they trigger headaches for me um since if you have migraines y'all know i have these crazy migraines i'm gonna have to take some medicine before i go to bed but floral scents for some reason trigger my headaches really really bad so floral scents i just cannot have i really did appreciate when i let them know that they sent the wrong one and i couldn't use it that they said well just keep it give it away give it as a gift to somebody or something and we'll send you the one you actually wanted Ugh, yeah straight up roses i can't it, i can't it's so this one is right up my alley i believe this is another movie quote see that's that's where they that's where they get to charge this amount of money this is called wait let me open it for y'all y'all have to hear this y'all ready those of y'all that know me know why this is so funny to me you go glean coco mean girls i mean y'all so this one was actually i believe this was actually supposed to be a christmas candle y'all know how i am literally i just told y'all i have peppermint sugar cookie burning was burning in my bedroom now that's the one i just burned out this smells so sweet it smells really chocolatey okay so let me read you what it says on here frolic and play the 90s high school way kick back relax and immerse yourself in retro holiday nostalgia decadent rich hot cocoa melts with vanilla and peppermint candy canes or for you for for you, Glen Coco. You go, Glen Coco. This candle's like so fetch, XO. Tiny batch candle. Smells like peppermint, candy, coke, chocolate, vanilla, and coconut milk. Perfect for holiday nostalgia. I don't get holiday nostalgia from it. I do get peppermint hot cocoa from Starbucks. Well, I guess that's, I guess maybe that's technically holiday. I don't know. I like this one. I don't know which one I'm going to, I'm going to just leave all the ones open and then I'll just put back the ones I don't want to use because I have like so many I'm thinking about putting in that spot where the other one is. Um, okay, so that's, you go Glen Coco. I have a total of six, y'all. So we're going to definitely be testing a bunch of them out. If y'all didn't see my dossier, um, my last dossier haul too, I'm going to put a card for that at the top. That dossier candle, I did wind up putting it downstairs. It smells so good. And everyone that comes in is like, that's different for you. Because y'all know I love sweet scents. So that's a more fresh scent. Um, again, I'm going to put a card for that up there if y'all want to check that video out. So let me, y'all, the popcorn they put in here, though. I'm glad they're protecting it, but it just seems a little bit wasteful. Like, all this is going to go in the, tr in the trash garbage. Um, that is what? That makes three. So we got three more to go. All right. This one is... I don't actually know. Oh, yeah. This is another course we said this one is called i can't believe they don't have tops that really annoys me y'all like y'all have no idea how much that aggravates me that they don't have tops on them like 30 dollars and i can't have a top this one is called y'all can see it's red and green obviously it was a christmas candle dude for the holidays these are going to be so cute to have out for the holidays because they really stick to a theme i'm not gonna lie to y'all your best friends be like candy candy canes candy corns and syrup the best way to spread christmas cheer is to sing loudly for all to hear and light up this unashamedly cheesy holiday candle don't be an angry elf there's oh elf i just got the reference i'm so stupid don't be an angry elf there's room for everyone on the nice list treat your treat every day like christmas xo 
Tidy Batch Candle. This one smells like cinnamon, sugar, apple, syrup, vanilla, and butter. Perfect for a Christmas nostalgia. I like this one too, but it's definitely way more of a wintry smell. So, I don't know. I think that one is going to... I'm, I'm going to keep that one for a while. All right. Next we have... Oh, I'm dreaming of a pink Christmas. So, clearly, I racked up on the Christmas scents because why? They usually smell sweet, which is what I like. I'm dreaming of a pink Christmas. This candle, this label on the pink... All right. So, I'm dreaming of a pink Christmas. Your best friends be like. I'm dreaming of a pink Christmas. Santa baby, don't get your tinsel in a twist. You'll feel fabulous and festive AF with this holiday blend. <laughs> this holiday blend of gooey buttercream, angel cake, and cheeky splash of bourbon. Tis the season to sparkle. Merry Christmas, baby girl. XO. Smells like buttercream, vanilla cake, sugar, and bourbon. They literally could have just named it the Marty Candle. It doesn't smell really strong, though. To say they're 30 bucks a piece, like, I feel like I'm going to have to burn this one in order to smell it. And I actually feel that way about most of them, except the floral one, which was the one I did not want. But these, like this one, I had such high hopes for it. And to me, it doesn't smell, like, super strong. Like, I got to put my nose, like, all up in it, if you can't tell. Um, so, I, it's beautiful, but I don't really smell it too much. And last but not least, okay, this is what I was the most excited for. Because this candle, y'all, y'all ready for this? It's so cute. This one, I, I laughed when I got it. And they went hard with the packing supplies. Like, girl, they want to make sure that candle is not going to break, honey. I was losing it over this candle. When y'all see it, y'all got to be like, oh, of course you love it. Before y'all even hear what it smells like. Y'all ready for this? I'm so excited. I'm excited for y'all because y'all get to see it with me for the first time. It's not broken. I've been talking so much trash about it not being broken. Sprinkles are everywhere. So I wonder if their actual sprinkles are if they're not. I guess they'll stay on there. So this is the one I will be burning all of the month of April, and it is Go Shawty, it's your birthday. How cute is that? Look, it literally has sprinkles in it like a funfetti cake. Your best friends be like, Go Shawty, it's your birthday. Feed me cake and tell me I'm pretty. Girl, your birthday is going to be so lit. Lay back, make a wish, and hit the ultimate sugar high with notes of delicious gooey buttercream and candied vanilla plus everything's better with sprinkles xo it smells just like the uh one i just put away the christmas one the i'm dreaming of a pink christmas it smells similar but how cute is this tiny batch candle smells like birthday cake gooey buttercream gourmand and bourbon perfect for celebrating i just am in love with this candle it's so cute so now i will say i do i did hear that these have a really long burn time so maybe that's how you get your money's worth out of it i don't know but those sprinkles are falling all over the place. And it, look, the sprinkles go all the way down to y'all. This is so freaking cute. This one, I would say if you have someone that's a candle lover like me, that is worth the $30. Just for the theme of it, it's just so cute. And it says the factives. I don't even know what that means. Is that like what it smells like? It's supposed to be fresh and exotic. To burn it. I'm excited to try it out. So I believe that's all six of my candles. One, two, three, four, five. And then the floral. Yeah, that's all six of my Ryan Porter candles. I will tell y'all, I've not burned them yet, so I can't really pass that much judgment on them as to, like, what they smell like when they burn and all that. I'm hoping that they have a stronger scent while they're burning because I really don't care for the fact that they don't smell and they don't have a top. Like, they don't smell super strong. Like, the Bath & Body Works candles, y'all, when you open them, it's like, whoosh, like, you smell everything. Um, and then when you burn them, they only get, like, stronger. Uh, I'm hoping these do the same thing. I have not burned them yet, but I'm dropping popcorn all over the place. That's kind of actually annoying now at this point. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me for this special, special candle haul from Ryan Porter Candles. Also, all the rest... Oh my God. I'm going to be picking up popcorn all freaking night. Everything I'm wearing on my face is going to be linked down below, as well as a link to each one of these candles if you want to check them out, um, and a link to my BoxyCharm if you want to get them on a super discount at the BoxyCharm drop shop. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I'll be here next time you want to get yourself or your house glam if you come on over and get glam with Marty. See y'all next time. Bye. Look at all the popcorn. That's just from those. Let me show y'all another, uh, another bag that came up.